Alrighty guys, welcome back to another good old video. Um, this is another video that I'm going to be doing straight off the top of my head. Um, I don't really, un <laughs> um, if I'm being real with you, I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to see. We're simply just going to take what we did our with our last video, scripting a sliding door. But instead, we're just going to be doing a banner raise. Now, I know most of this doesn't apply to you, but the concepts are basically very important to see if you ever want to make a specific kind of part move or model move, I should say. So we're going to pretend that this is our roof here. And basically what we're going to do, all right, is that we're going to make a location for our banner. And we're also going to be using click functions today. I don't know how exactly he wants it in terms of when to detect when to start moving this thing. But I presume that it's just going to be where, um, I presume that's going to be a click function. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So pretend this is our roof here. All right, and these are going to be like the things that raise the banner. So basically what we're going to do is that I'm going to make just two cylinders and I'm also going to make this brick right here. All right. And let's just pretend that this is going to be our banner, right? High, high quality stuff right here. All right. So, but you know, nothing too, too crazy. All right. So presuming that it's going to be taking place in an outdoor or I'm sorry, in an indoor arena, not an outdoor arena. We're just simply going to do this. We're going to be making this a model. All right, I'm going to set my primary part, which it's going to be this right here. So I'm just going to set my primary part equal to uh, equal to our base. All right, whoops, and now I'm flying away. Goodbye. All right, and basically all we're going to do is that we're just going to be using our for loop that we learned last time to bring this up so that it looks kind of like that, and so that it kind of gets hung after that. All right, and I'm going to go through it a little bit more in depth than I probably should. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's do this here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my script. I'm just going to say local uh, banner or well, actually, I'll take it a step further. I'll put this inside of our server storage. I'll rename it to banner. All right. So I'm going to say local banner is equal to game dot server storage dot banner. And basically what we're going to do is that we now need a part that we're able to click and make this happen. All right. So we're going to have this as our click part. I'm going to make it, I'm actually going to put the script inside of here rather than the other spot. So the script is now inside of here and I'm also going to be putting in a click detector. All right. So now I'm going to say local click detector is equal to script.parent.clickdetector. And now basically what we do here is that we say click detector, which with one R. Oh, well that didn't do it. Oh, that didn't do anything again. There we go. Click detector dot mouse click connect function. All right. Then we say local new banner is equal to banner clone new banner dot position. Nope. Dot parent is equal to game dot workspace new banner dot. Nope. 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 That's it. Now for I is equal to zero to we'll say 300 do. Oh, for I equals, my bad, for I equals 0 to 300, do. And now basically all we're going to do is that we're going to say new banner dot C frame is equal to new banner set primary part C frame. At least I think new banner set primary part C frame or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know. Or I'm just going to go ahead and let, let me just check my last video real quick. Whoopsie daisy. I'm kind of like out of it right now, but here basically it's the same concept as this. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but it's just door one. Yeah, so I didn't even need that. I'm just going to say new banner set primary part C frame and then what? Uh, new banner dot primary part dot C frame. Is it times or plus? I can never remember plus vector three dot new zero one. We'll do zero zero point one zero. So basically all this is going to do is that when we click on this, when we click on this, it's going to take the banner that's inside of our server storage. It's going to clone it and we're going to put it into the workspace. And after that, we're simply going to raise it after let's say 10 seconds and we could do it slow, slower or faster, all depending. All right. So let's go ahead and now let's test it out. You know, it's pretty similar. I think that he could have solved it, figured it out on his own last time, but here, and then wait 10 seconds. So here's our banner that we went ahead and put in. Then after 10 seconds, it should be going up. At least I hope. I, mean, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So one thing that I definitely forgot to do was I forgot to do a wait statement. 
There we go. And I'm just going to reduce this down to two instead. All right, so instead of having to wait that long, I could just click this. And then after two seconds, it'll slowly raise up. And that's how you do a banner raising. All right, so pretty simple. You know, I know I didn't, uh, I don't have my mind fully in the game right now, but let's say that you're off in your, uh, that you're off in your calculations. Uh, if you wanted to go further up, you would change this to 450. If you wanted to not be as further up, I would do 100. So for right now, 250 se or 300 seem to work for me. If you wanted it to go faster, you would make this number 0 0.5. If you wanted it to be slower, you would make it 0 0.05. But I like it at 0 0.1. That's a pretty good speed. And if you wanted it to go faster, this is another way. It's not as effective, but it's another way to do it. All right. And so that's how you make a banner raising. This is for use for all hockey teams if you guys have any interest in it. Like I said, just make a model, set a primary part, put a part, click detector, script, script, uh, and then here's the script for it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to be coming out with actually a second video in about 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.